With Halloween fast approaching, it's time to get a little bit batty. My name is Angie and I'm from the Goldie Starling YouTube channel and today I'm going to show you how to create this bat inspired makeup. So I hope you guys enjoy and let's get started. To start off the batification process, I'm going to apply two to three layers of glue stick to cover my eyebrows. Once that glue is dry, I'm going to go ahead and apply foundation and buff that lightly into the skin. Next up is concealer and I'm applying this anywhere that I need coverage and also to my eyebrows. To set everything into place and make sure it's long lasting, I'm going to apply powder. Halloween calls for a bit of green, so I'm going to go ahead and apply a green base to my eyelid. On top of that base, I'm going to lightly buff a lime green eyeshadow. And to add a little more definition to the eye, I'm going to take a grass green color and apply that to the crease of the eye and also to the inner corner of the eye. And then I'm going to deepen that color further with a dark teal eyeshadow. This eyeshadow technique is going to make your eyes look a little bit larger and also make it look like your lid is glowing. When I think of bats, I definitely think of wings, so I'm just going to apply a nice black winged liner to the eyes. You'll also want to apply a little bit of black liner underneath the eye, as well as a healthy coat of mascara. With a purple eyeshadow, I'm going to begin to sketch in where I want my bat mask to be. I find that using an eyeshadow is more forgiving, and you can easily sketch in where you want your bat. If you make any mistakes, you can just wipe them away. This next part is probably the most time consuming and that's adding the purple glow to the outline of the bat. What you want to do is to take your purple eyeshadow and lay it down around the outline and then drag your brush outwards. It's going to create a nice gradient and a nice fade. For some fun little detail work, I added some green rhinestones and what I'd like to do is dot down a little bit of lash glue and then pick up the rhinestone with a wet q-tip and apply it to the glue. And I'm also going to be adding some little green dots using a green face paint. After applying some fun eyelashes and finishing off a little bit of detail work around the bat's body, I added this beautiful purple lip gloss. Thank you guys so much for watching this going batty tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did, please make sure you subscribe and rate this video as well as leave us a comment telling us what you're going to be for Halloween. Otherwise, thank you all so much for watching. Take care and happy Halloween.